Hello, you're welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be discussing parameters in Tableau. So we're going to look at how we can create our parameters and how we can use them. So as we all know, parameters in Tableau are like workbook variables. That is, they can be numbers, dates, or any calculated field that we can use in replacing a constant value in a calculation. So you can use the parameter in calculations and as well in calculated field. So that you can control your view we are going to make it of the tableau sample past or data sets so just like what i have in the view i already brought in the data so let me click on the worksheet so let's just move to what we want to do so how we can create a tableau parameter with what we have here so actually creating a parameter is more like you have something you want to do and you want to use it to represent in your particular view so let's say Let's bring in the sales. So let's put the sales inside the rows. So now let's take the other dates. Now I'm going to change the other date to let's say okay, let's leave what we have here. Let's change it to table view. So this is how I want to view it. So let's say I have the year of my sales. So this is for 2014, 15, 16, and 17. So, and I might as well want to see the month values. That is, I might want to see what the sales are for each of the months in each of these years. Or let's say I want to check the year. I want to check the quarter. I want to check the months. And as well, I want to check the day. So how I can go by this is I can create a, a Tableau parameter to handle this for me. So whenever I click on the um, year, it can bring out the year. And whenever I click on the month, it will show me the month. So, and as well for the other ones. So let's go to this. Um, let's go here. So you can see this small drop down arrow. You click on create parameter. So this is where you come to to create your parameter. So the kind of parameter we want to create here is going to be like a string type. So here is where you put the name of your parameter. So we have the different data and the different data type of the parameter we can use. We have the float, integer string, boolean, and the others. So the one I'm going to make use of is the string. So let me select the string. So let me name this my params. So now what I'm going to do is so you can see is um we have a current value of one. So I haven't added anything. So this is what I need to do. I'll click on the library value as list. So this list means I want to type something inside here and it's going to display it in my view. So what I'm going to type in is I want to type in here. These are the things I want to use. So I want to type in the quarter. So whenever I click on each of these, it's going to so I have the month. I have the week and I have the day. So just click on enter as you are clicking on each of these. So the display has to automatically be graded out. So you now click on OK. So you can see everything I did here. So you click on OK. So here, whenever I click on the small drop down, then I click on show parameter, it's going to show here. So you can see here. But I just exactly like what I did. So now what we need to do now is just like what we did. So you need to create a calculated field to make this parameter active. You know, whenever you click on quarter, it's not doing anything. So for you to make this particular parameter active, you need to create a calculated field for it. So now let's create a calculated field for it to handle this parameter. A period. Okay. Those amounts. Uh, just leave it like that. So you, what you're going to do now is you're going to make reference to that particular parameter we use. You remember we created year and we added month, we added quarter, we added weeks and all. Just like if we click on this drop down, you can see it. So we're going to make reference to each of it. We're making reference to each of it. We're going to use our other dates to make this um, applicable, that is to make it um, useful 
So I will, I will show you how you can do that. So the first thing you need to do is you write yes. Then you bring in your what? You bring in your the parameter that you created. So the name of my parameter is my params. So that's the name. So then I use when to be yes. So what I will say is wherever it says um here because i know i i i know i what i wrote here inside my parameter so whenever it says yes this is what it should see it as whenever it is a year then we say then let's use a string then we say year that is we are referencing our other dates now so we now say year Then let's move to the next one. You write when then you put quarter. You have two brackets here. Let's close this other one. So let's continue. So let's say when months week. I think we have that up to date. Let's close the other parentheses. So let's move to the last one. We write end. End your. You can see everything you did. Let me just continue it. Yeah. This is what we have here. So we put the, that is, we are referencing each of the parameters that we created. So we reference the year. So we say you should take the year that is using the normal year calculation. So it should display as year. So now we also do the same by saying year, which this one is to represent the quarter. So and as well for the month and as well for the week and the date. So this was our calculation that we are going to use for the parameter that is to undo what we have in the parameter. So let's click on OK. This is our calculation. So what we need to do now is, so let's drag this to the column. We'll drag it to the column. So you can see how everything actually looks like. So I feel what we need to do is, let's change this to our charts. Let's remove this. So let's take our sales. That's what we need to have. So now let's pick year. Okay. So now you can see we have the year, we have the quarter, you can see we have the months, so we have the week, and we have the day. You can see how this is randomly changing. So this is how you can create your parameter and you reference the and you reference whatsoever you added in your parameter. So you can create different kinds of parameters. So what we did here is we reference this particular params in our calculation. So this is a string type of parameter. So just like what we did inside here, let's take it back to here once again. So now we're going to discuss what a parameter actions. So we've seen how we can create a parameter. So let's discuss what parameter action is. So parameter action actually allows you to change a parameter value. So by interacting with this particular visualization now. So assuming I have sales for a particular region. Let's say sales for a particular state. So looking at it, I can be able to change what I have here. So I'm going to show you how you can add a parameter action. So with what we have. So what we created is a string type. So you can add a parameter action. So it actually makes your parameter more dynamic and interactive. So let's move to a new sheet and look at how we can create a parameter action. So the kind of parameter type that we're going to use now is we're going to make use of the floats. Let's say the integer type. So let's click on the drop down arrow for create parameter. So let's create, let's call this uh, new params. New params. So we're going to take the data type as um, floats. So we're going to take it as a float. 
so the current value is one so let's leave it like that which is one so and click on ok the float and integer are different so what you do is you drag this to the row or put it inside the text so well, this is last thing so i think what we need to do is let's take sales then let's put this under okay let's put it here then let's drag sales out let's put this back inside so that is what we need to do so you can see we have what we need inside here so this is showing us as 1.000 which is not something we want so what we're going to do is let's change this from our view you click on the drop down click on the new params that is what you want to undo so here we go to the numbers tab so we're going to change this to something else so let's check what we want to use let's choose the currency standard and use this as english so that's just what we need so i close the tab so you've created this which is what you have here so now this is what we have for our parameter you can see so we are going to explain what this is doing so now let's move to the next sheet so what we want to do here is we are going to compare the sales by month so let's drag the sales let's click on months okay this is what i need to do okay so we have these sales by month so what i need to do is i should be able to click on any area here so that is as i click on this place so as i'm moving so i want this particular thing to be changing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a dashboard so i'm going to show you how you can implement that so let's open a new dashboard so i think the explanation will be much more easier than that let's drag these new sheets so um, take this other one below here so okay So we can also edit the value that we have inside here. We can go back and edit this particular value that we have here. So, okay. So let's change this particular test. Okay. So let's check what we have here. Close this particular one. Yeah, so it will look neater. So now let's move to what we want to do. So we need to do the um, parameter action. So this is how you can create a parameter action. Come down to dashboard click on dashboard then you click on actions so what you need to do is you click on hard action so there are different ways you can use that parameter action you can use highlight you can go to go to your you can use go to sheets so what you want to use is change um, parameter yeah so we're going to click on a particular sheet that we want to use so the sheet we want to make use of is you can see we have the sheet three. I think the sheet three is the one that we that has the chart. So we are going to use the target parameter. So the target our target parameter is the new params that we created. That is the one for this sales value you can see here. So we are going to use the source field. We are going to make use of the sum of the sales. So and then we are going to make use of sum so just like what you have here and click on ok so let's see you can see what, you have, what i'm doing here so whenever i click on any part of the month let's say this is february 
So the sales value is going to change to what I have inside this particular field box. So let's click on match so you can see. So this is just like I'm controlling what I have in the view. So based on particular thing I select. So and from here as well, I want us to observe. Let's go back to actions. Because when we were adding the parameter thing, I need you to specify something. You have run action on over, you have select, you have menu. So what I click on is the select. So that's why I'm, I was able to select of it. So that's what we have there. So just say you click on any part of this, so it's going to change in the box. So you can try to be more creative and think of something you can use that will be more um that will serve your needs just like what you want to see in your dashboard so just click on any or any part of it listen to what you need this is april so as well if you have this for daily so you can see it's going to change inside the box so i hope this tutorial was helpful and it was you were able to understand how you can create a tablet parameter and not just tablet parameter you can create tableau parameter actions and mind you you know i mentioned you, there are different kind of parameter you can create you have the date you have the strain you have the float you have the integer and the boolean and the others so you can use any of these to serve your needs according to what you want to use so i hope the tutorial was helpful and you understand how you can create your parameter and as well the parameter actions thank you for Thank you for watching. I would love to see you next time.